Hi, I'm Anne Marie, and you are listening to Achieve Self Improvement Radio. Today, I invite you to call in for a Fall into My Arms angel reading. Uh, we can look at just the energy around your name and what comes through, or if you absolutely have a specific question you want to ask, well, then you can do that also. Um, one of the things that I wanted to uh, look at also is to keeping it very organic for us. And what does that mean? Well, keeping an organic reading means keeping it earthy, keeping it so that it's easily understandable, not filled with a lot of metaphysical slang, and making sure that you feel like you're having um, a reading with a sister, which is what I am. I'm your spirit sister for the day. So if we uh, just kind of look at who's visiting us in the room today so far, we have Ina from California, we have Linda from Washington, and we have Justin from North Carolina. And I wanted to say also that the uh, video um, is working today. So if you want to watch your reading live, just go to the Achieve homepage and click on that little um, rainbow TV and it says, and you'll see it. And, it. and then when you click on that, you'll be able to watch your reading live as it happens. That's right. Well, one of the things I thought I'd start with today is, um, you know, are you, are you, I know this is a terrible thing to ask at this particular time, but if you have a journal or a piece of paper, I would like to um, give you a little bit of a test here on, it's called the happiness test. And if you've ever taken a test to measure your happiness, maybe you're curious to know how you stack up. So this is an Oprah Winfrey a test, and, uh, you know, it's just a way to be able to rate uh, how happy you really are and how to increase that happiness right now. So the Be Happy Index is a test in which a guy named Dr. Robert Holdens uh, has a Be Happy program, and he's famously tested by independent scientists for the BBC documentary, How to Be Happy. And maybe what we can do is kind of review that question in our readings today. So, I know who I am, and I like myself. Is that not true? Rarely true. Sometimes true. Mostly true or very true. So I'm going to ask you that after I give you readings today. And the number to call in for your reading is 888-235-7374. Again, that's 888-235-7374 for a free mini reading. Um, and we're going to uh, just kind of look at what's going on today in your life. So let's start with Ina from California. Hey, Ina, how you doing? Well, Emory, I um, since I'm mostly true, um, you know, there's always sometimes a doubt, and sometimes you feel like um, just feeling like you run down from all the tasks, all the things that's going on, and how we react that's to them, fantastic. and of course we can control. Certain things we can, sure. certain we cannot. Uh, yes. So my question is to you, with um, my life that has very hectic for everybody else as well, um, mm -hmm. what is it? What is it? Um, what is it in, for upcoming like month at least ahead in terms of settling down with the business, letting go of day job, so I just can have a little bit downtime for myself because I feel like I have not even a minute to myself being having my own business, full-time job, being a mom and a wife. I just have a zero time for myself. <laughs> right, right, so, and I can imagine. Well, you know, I think what, the way I'm... The way that I'm going to look at that is what is your homework for keeping yourself in tune with your busy life? How's that? Well, I used to did meditate. I used to be more aware of and used to be more, um, 
complying with a couple times a day, take some time just to breathe and pause. And right now it feels like it's just off balance because I don't do this okay. anymore. So in other words, you're still kind of living. Um, I don't want to say you're living in the past, you know, but I feel that you are still hanging on to old dynamics of regret. Fearful that if you lose and if you lose your relaxation, if you if you let go for just a moment, that what's going to happen is that you're going to find yourself sliding backwards into a sense of despair. Now, one of the things that comes up is also that sometimes you get sick to death of being the strong one. Are you married or do you have a man in your life? Yes, I do. Has he not been as as um, dependable as you would like him to be as far as chipping in? Well, I want him I want to be I want to be a weak one, yes. <laughs> Right. But what you want, honey, is not what you're doing. So you're talking from both sides of your mouth. What you right. want is to go. What you want is to be able to never repeat the mistakes that you made in the past. But the problem is you've become such a perfectionist that your poor um, mate would probably never be able to do the kind of job that you would like him to. So therefore, you probably took take on an attitude of, well, by gosh, if the job can't be done right, I'll do it myself. And my feeling mm -hmm. is, is that he has begun to have some boundaries, um, whether those boundaries are from you spoiling him to death and then claiming that you're tired to death and you have to do it all, or whether it's because no matter what, he knows he just won't do a good enough job. He won't do it perfect enough for you. So I'm not trying to say you, 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 you're so, you're, you're imperfect, Dina. All I'm saying is relax because your hubby is never going to chip in if you never show him what happens when you don't multitask a thousand directions at once. And yeah, maybe people are going to have to be in chaos a little bit around you, but it's the only way that you're going to be able to prove to everyone that they have to chip in and do their part. So you're one of those people, and I'll bet you do this at work too. You take on all the responsibilities. You take on all of the work. And people eventually just turn into sleeping fools around you because you're so industrious. And I think that it exhausts you. It burns you out. But at the same time, it becomes your martyr, your martyr shield. And and I, I'm just saying... Maybe if you really want people to help in and chip in, you've just got to do less, not more. So your gotcha. homework, Ina, your homework, Ina, is to just do less. <laughs> let go of the, let go of that perfectionism. Perfection. That I have. Yeah. Absolutely, okay. because all you're doing is through your perfectionism creating an imperfect life. Yeah. Not to mention an exhausting one. Oh, that's that's true. So, so what are you going to do? So now I'm going to ask left. you again. Are you really happy? Are you happy? Are you sort of happy? Or are you determined to be happy? Oh, I'm determined to be happy. Then by gosh, you start doing less, girl. Okay. All right. With your permission, I probably should. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, my goodness. Thanks so much, Anne-Marie. All right, honey. Take care. Bye. Thanks. Bye-bye.